here with uh, Nick Ebert of the Windsor Spitfires. And Nick, uh, I just wondered, uh, apart from the obvious of having to you know get stronger, having to build more muscle, what do you think is the biggest uh, skill or area of your game that you're going to need to work on between now and the time you're ready to be ready to go pro? Uh, basically, I can work on my all-around game. Um, I think that I, there's still so much more for me to grow in, and offensively and defensively, I think, I think it's all good. Yeah. And just uh, there's been a lot some talk uh, that the Spitfires might play an outdoor game next next year. Uh, any, any thoughts on that? Yeah, I heard that too. Um, just came out probably last week. Someone was talking about it. Maybe us first London or something like that. That would be an un unbelievable experience. Uh, you know, everyone wants to play in the outdoors in front of thousands of people, and uh, you know we might have a legitimate chance here. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and. Um, what is it? What what sort of? Uh, how much value has it had to you to play for an organization like Windsor that's had so many players come through and go and go on to the yeah um, to the next level? Like Ryan Ellis is already in the played some NHL games if this year. If you look at if you look at what they've done in the past few years, how many guys are in the NHL right now? How many guys have developed? How many championships they've won? It's uh, it's pretty surreal. No other team's done it in the entire CHL. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Warren Reichel and uh, Bob Boone here, they've done a tremendous job there building the, building the team up and getting the right guys in there. And uh, we're going to go on our runs in the next couple of years, and it's going to be exciting to be part of Windsor Spitfires. Yeah, and we were, before we were on camera here, we were, you were sort of talking about you know the improvement strides you've made in the last little while. So just sort of elaborate on the process you made of trying to you know improve your decision making and and you know sort of you know tidy up your game this, in the last couple of months. Yeah, obviously uh, my decision making was suspect at times. You know I wasn't really doing the right things. Um, a little bit inconsistent in the beginning of the year. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I think recently it's just been all uphill, like you said. I, um, people are trying to take notes of that now, and uh, I'm getting a bigger role now with, uh, with the Spitties, and uh, it's good because we got a young group of kids, and uh, you know I'm somewhat of a leader on the squad now, and it's it's just been great. I'm playing 30 plus minutes a night, and I'm um, making the most of my advantage here, and uh, we got 20 games left in the season, and I'm gonna make uh, make the most of it for sure. And, and Nick, uh, what teammate or it could be one, could be a couple guys have, have has had the most impact on you in your career? Um, you know, obviously you look back last year, Ryan Ellis was he was great off the ice with me. Um, when times were when got times got bad, you know, he was he was always there and uh, he was a mentor with me. And this year, you know, Adrian Robertson was great in the beginning of half of the year when he was with us. He's with the Sarnia thing now, and he's gonna go for a run with the Mem Cup there. Let's see what happens. But uh, yeah, he's a great guy on and off the ice, and uh, he's got me through some things that I needed to. Uh, Definitely need to get some help with, so for sure. Yeah. Now, who in the NHL do you watch and think, I see things he's doing, I could put into my game, or I got to play a little more like him if I want to get to the show? Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, I like uh, LA defensemen Jack Johnson and Drew Doughty. You know, I try to model my game after them. Um, if, I mean, if you watch, if you watch Shea Weber every every night, the guy's one of the best defense in the NHL without a doubt. He does it all. Mm -hmm. You know, every, everyone tries to model their game after him as much as they can possibly. But you know, he's a He's a world type player, and uh, they don't come around too much. And uh, fun, one uh, fun one to end off. Uh, favorite uh, workout song? Favorite workout song? I probably have to go with Pressure. It's a uh, techno song, and uh, gets gets the boys going in the locker room for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.